Hey guys, Pace Morby here, and if you're a wholesaler or an investor working in the foreclosure market, even agents, I want you to watch this testimonial from James, somebody that we literally, 45 minutes ago, stopped the foreclosure on his home. You need to watch this, and you need to understand that if you're reaching out to homeowners in foreclosure, these people are praying that you are their solution. And for you to just abandon them two days, three days before their foreclosure comes up, you guys are creating a domino effect that is almost impossible to fix. I had to drop everything I'm doing today, not even wearing underwear, no joke. I wasn't wearing underwear, didn't brush my teeth, hadn't done anything this morning. I got a text message from one of my students, Aaron Green, and said, I need your help. We have a homeowner that was abandoned by another wholesaler. And prior to that, they were abandoned by an agent. Guys, not all agents are as reputable as you may think. Just because they have a license doesn't, doesn't mean that they're actually doing the right thing and they understand the strategies. An agent, if they knew subject two, or a wholesaler, if they knew subject two, would not have left this homeowner in their time of need, standing there going, I don't know what to do. So there's two things. You're gonna watch a testimonial today of James and I talking about the process and what happened during his foreclosure. Literally, this is 45 minutes ago. So watch this video, take a lesson, take notes, learn a thing or two, and if you have questions about the foreclosure process, make a comment down below. And on your way down below, please give us a like and a subscribe. We spent a lot of money. We get camera crews. I had Jose come over and, and do an interview with James. Guys, these things take a lot of time. They're emotional and they cost money to put out there. So please give us a subscribe. Let us know we deserve it. Let us know that we're working hard for you guys. And let, let us know that we're providing value and helping you guys along in your real estate journey. Watch the video. Hey guys, my name is Pace Morby and this is James. We're here in Arizona and we just had a situation go on with James House. He, uh, we, what do you think we had? We think you had like three minutes to spare? About three minutes. We had about three minutes to spare before James and his father lost their house. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it's not James's fault. There was a couple of people that were kind of playing games behind the scenes with James, his father and his house. And I just wanna give people a forewarning that this kind of stuff goes on in this business, okay? so. Um, I'm a real estate investor, somewhat retired, and I help people from time to time. I have a couple of people, Aaron Green and Cameron. Aaron Green and Cameron, people I know and learn from me, um, were in the process of trying to help James uh, stop the foreclosure and stay in his home. So um, what happens in this business is that there, how many people do you think called you in all those months? 30, 40, 50? 30, 40, a lot. A lot of people called me. So you might be getting a lot of phone calls, right, from other investors, but not all of those people are actually investors or people that actually do what they say they're gonna do. You wanna find somebody that's reputable, somebody that knows exactly what they're doing. Here's what happened with James. He had somebody call him months ago. They told him, hey, I'll help you stay in the house if you work with me. Is that kind of yeah, what they said? That's exactly what they said. So that's exactly what they said. They said, I'll help you stay in the house. And what ultimately happened is they led James along and along that process, were you were there other people reaching out to you? You're like, yes. oh no, I'm good now. Exactly. Because I got this other guy. Yep, that's exactly what happened. I, I was like, hey, I'm good. I got this other guy. I, I don't need any more help. And then at the last minute, he pretty much pulled the rug off from under me. So a couple of days ago, the foreclosure actually happened today at 11 o'clock. So what happens when you get behind on your payments, the auction house or the trustee decides we're gonna, we're gonna auction the house off at 11 o'clock to a new investor and they set the time. And then a couple of days ago, this other so-called investor who told James and his father, who's on disability, these guys are on disability. They're, they've gone through hard times. You've had medical issues, right? Oh yeah, I'm diabetic, missing a toe. Uh, knees are bad. Uh, <laughs> I hear voices ever since I got sick. So these guys have been like, I couldn't find help. And they, they, they came in and they have been wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So here's what happened. I get a call, I get a text message last night at maybe 11 o'clock at night um, from Aaron and Cameron. And they say, hey Pace, we need your help. Uh, James doesn't have a way to get to the foreclosure auction to stop the foreclosure and show proof that we are going to buy the house. And so I dropped everything I was doing. Literally, I'm in my workout clothes. I dropped everything I'm doing. If you pan over there, Jose, you can see my daughter's in the car. Literally, this morning, as I'm taking my kids to school, I, get, I, I have to drop my kids off at school. I drive an hour to pick up James because his car is in the shop. I take James all the way into Central Phoenix to stop the foreclosure. We literally had four minutes to spare. 
Okay. Were you stressing out that whole time? Yes. I, I've been stressing out since last night. Dude, I have been up all night, literally. I was just telling him after I get home and I talk to Cameron, I'm taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, it's so stressful to go through this. And why am I making this video? Well, I'm making this video because you need to have credible people that you're working with because if you just have these people calling you and texting you and everybody's calling and texting you, you got 30, 40 people, you, don't, you can't make a decision who to work with. Make sure you go online, make sure they have testimonials, make sure they have somebody else that's saying, yo, yo, literally 30 minutes ago. Literally, like four minutes I had to spare to save my house. And that was today. That was today. This wasn't months ago or a year ago. No, this just today. happened. He's literally <laughs> dropped me off. He came and picked me up. Like he said, my car's in the shop. I, I, I can't ask for anybody better that actually cares. And here's the other thing too, is that these other investors, here's what their justification was of dropping James. Okay, they were working with James for all this time. James is sitting here telling all these other phone callers and texters, I'm good, I'm good, I don't need your help, I don't need your help, I'm, I'm working with these guys. And these guys find out that James and his family had fallen on a hard enough time that the amount of money they were behind on their payments was so significant that they decided, well, financially, there's nothing in it for me, and I just took up 30 days of your life that you could have been working with somebody else that knew what they were doing, Yep. and he drops James last minute and barely, barely stops the foreclosure by the skin of his teeth. Here's how it was done. It was because the other previous investors that bailed out did not understand, ironically, subject two. okay? Subject two is the process of taking over the payments and catching up the arrears, and that's what we're doing with your house, right? Yes. Okay, what's cool is we're actually buying the house subject to from James, taking over the payments, and then letting James and his father stay in the house. Okay, so we actually have a way of helping people that most investors, real estate agents, brokers, none of them have the, the, the ability to do it unless they understand subject two. So if you're behind on your arrears and you don't have the, uh, if wholesalers are reaching out to you and agents are reaching out to you and they don't know what subject two is, Tell them, hey, I'm looking for somebody who understands how to take over the payments on my house, get me caught up, let me stay in the property, maybe, because not everybody wants to stay in the property, but don't let the foreclosure ruin your credit. Okay, what's gonna, be, what's gonna happen for James is James is going to have, the loan is gonna be brought back into good standing, his credit is gonna be rebuilt with those payments, and James is gonna be able to stay in the property, not have to move anywhere, not have to uproot his entire family, because Aaron and Cameron came in and used the right strategy. Exactly. Like I said, I couldn't have asked for nobody better. I had people jack me around, jack me around. Cameron and Aaron, they came in, they worked with me for three days, nonstop calls, everything. Anything that I needed, he even asked me if I needed food this morning. Now, how many people are gonna ask you that? Like, no, seriously. Guys, the people that bailed on James three or four days ago, where are they now? Right? I, nowhere to be found. They didn't text gentlemen? they didn't text James and say, Hey man, I noticed your your auction was at eleven. Did you save it? Is everything okay? I'm really worried about you. I'm sure that when they called you and they pretended to be your friend and they were gonna help you, they probably were like, We're gonna help you out. Oh yeah, they were super nice about it. They had some whacked out plan with like Bitcoin or something. Uh which this gentleman just told me it was a scam, which I, I, I can definitely see that now. Because like I said, he came and picked me up this morning. I didn't even have a way to the courthouse. This is what they do for people. They, they help you. If you want help, these are the people that you need to work with. There are no other people that's gonna treat you like you're a human, like you matter. There's just not. If you want what's best for you, what's best for your family, what's best for your situation, you work with these gentlemen, I promise you, you will not regret it. It felt amazing, guys, when, when we had, um, I, I was personally on the phone with the auction house, and when they said, yes, we stopped the foreclosure, bro, I was like pumping my fists and so excited for James. I'm not even the person buying the house. And I was ready, to, I was crying, basically. I'm ready to cry now. It's amazing. Um, we went from being in pure chaos this morning into solving the problem. Work with people that know what they're doing work with people that have credibility, work with people that have testimonials online, work with people that have other people that will vouch for them. These other people that are saying, I'll let you stay in the house, I'll let you do this, guys, they bailed on James three days ago and they're nowhere to be found. They're nowhere to be found. I, I couldn't even probably, as a matter of fact, you know what? 
I do think I called their number back and it was disconnected. Wow. Yeah. But they were super friendly. Yeah. Acted exactly. like they cared about you. Yeah. Had a company name, right? Uh-huh. Guys, just because they have a company name and they're friendly on the phone doesn't mean they're they're gonna help you out. Make sure the people you're working with are credible. Make sure they understand the process of subject two, which is a creative finance method. That's what Aaron's doing. What Aaron's doing is he's gonna buy your house subject two, so he'll become the owner, and then you are going to lease the property back from him until right. you're ready to buy the house back. Exactly. And it, it, how does that help you and your dad in the situation? Oh, it, it helps us immensely. I have breathing room. I have things that I need to work on. Cause like he said, I, I became disabled about a year and a half ago. I lost a toe, found out I had ulterior arthritis. So I have to switch careers cause I can't pick people up no more. He just gave me all the breathing room I'm going to need so I can switch careers so I can make a new life because it's, it's hard, it's hard, you know? So anybody that can help you, that will help you, that's, you don't get that. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.